Welcome back to the den. I'm Tobin here to do my quick five of Soap Commander. The artisan behind Soap Commander is Carrie Siebert. It is a vegan base made in Ardmore, Alabama. And Carrie founded the company in 2014, about to celebrate her 10th year. Carrie literally wrote the book on how to make shaving soap. This has been around for seven or eight years now, don't quote me. It's been around a long time. I picked it up a few years ago, back at the beginning of the pandemic, just to understand shave soap better. I have no business making chocolate chip cookies without the help of like, you know, Pillsbury. Um, so it was just for entertainment, just to read it. If you do pick up this book, How to Make Shaving Soap, Charting Your Course to, Land of La to the Land of Lather by Carrie Siebert. You can pick it up on Amazon. I paid seven or eight dollars for it. I'm sure you can still get it for around ten or less. If you do, do yourself a favor. Follow the directions. Making shave soap can be extremely dangerous. There's a lot of caustic materials that go into it, like lye, and you know, from burns to losing your eyesight. So if you do pick it up, do yourself a favor and actually put to practice the things from that book. I've heard stories from guys. Follow the directions. Don't be that guy. Number five is Carrie's version of 1938's Shulden's formula for Old Spice. This is everything that you'd expect. Oh, this is one of my favorite Old Spice in incarnations. I have a handful of them. I really enjoy Sterling Spice, Barrister and Man's Spice, and then two of my other favorites is, of course, Phoenix's Cold Spice, and then Oud Spice. As of right now, if I had to pick one favorite, it'd probably be Oud Spice, which is basically Shulton's formula, but Oud added, so it's not an exact clone, more of a homage, an interpretation, or homage, right, would be the right word. I need to do like a quick five, totally dissect these and really figure out how I like them. But I believe uh, this one is, when it comes to just the regular ones, Endurance might be my favorite. It just has that classic, more robust fragrance to it. I'll put the scent notes up here. There's a whole bunch of them, way too many to list. You get a six ounce tub if you've never bought Soap Commander before. So six ounces for $17.50. That's one hell of a bargain. And you get these four, four ounce bombs. This is the old style of bottle. They now come in a bottle like this, which is actually nice because it's a thicker bomb and it's hard to get it out of these old bottles. But if you pick them up off of her website, you're gonna get it in a bottle like this. This is a different fragrance that I picked up just to show you. Number five, Endurance. A clone homage 1938's Schulten formula. Number four is passion. We all are passionate, right? Especially about wet shaving. If, I mean, if you're still watching this video, either I'm really good looking, which my mama says I am, or you're passionate about wet shaving too. Teakwood, cardamom, cinnamon, clove. In the base, we find cedar, amber, sandalwood, and patchouli. <sighs> Rich, warm, woodsy. Slightly spicy, and up in the top, you get a slight cedary, or a slight sweetness. There's no cedar. I'm passionate about passion. This comes in the six ounce tub, $17. It's a killer buy. Number four, passion. Number three is Justice. Justice and Liberty are two separate fragrances, both that release, oh, a couple of weeks before the 4th of July. And they are Independence Day fragrances. So you have Justice, which is my number three. And then we also have Liberty. Liberty is coconut florals and vanilla. And they're the kind that you could pair them together. So you could do the soap and the balm of, of another. They come in the three ounce tub. Here's the label for Justice. I like it, the way they did the color scheme here. So here's Liberty, here's Justice. I, I like Liberty, but just not well enough for it to make it to my top five. I absolutely love Justice. 
tobacco, bay leaf, exotic florals, cedar, and citrus. Yes, we have a what's generally a top note at the bottom. And that's the citrus, and I think you just I don't. The cit I've had this set for a couple of years now. The citrus is like, it's there. The florals are there, but they're not a major player in this fragrance at all. The tobacco, the bay leaf, and the cedar is where it's at. These three ounce tubs, um, or they're limited, limited edition tubs. Uh, they always come out with a few limited editions. I think it's two to four, depending on the year and the season of these little three ounce tubs. $12 and then they come in these little with these two ounce bombs there's they do do the splashes so you still get a four ounce splash um I just have the bombs but you can get these two ounce bombs for nine dollars so it's pretty cool and 12 and 9 21 bucks you got a set and like most of our modern soap a little bit goes a long ways and uh I'll probably never need to buy any more of these Highly recommend it. It is a masculine uh, green fragrance. Not, not overly green. I just got done doing green label. Uh, it, just masculine. It's amazing. If if you like the, the sound of that scent profile and you love America like I do, you need to at least get Liberty, Coconut Florals and Vanilla, or my favorite of the two, Justice. Number three. World could use more justice. So the top three, I could really flip flop back and forth. Top three was super hard, especially the top two. Depending on the day, basically whatever one I'm wearing, especially with my top two, top three is true. But especially the top two, if that makes sense, are both so damn good. It just basically comes down to which one I'm actually wearing. Carrie, like a lot of these different artisans, she makes a bunch of different products. One thing that she makes that I have that I absolutely love is her hand body lotions. Sterling also makes a good one as well. My number two fragrance, Honor, is her barbershop. <sighs> Classic powdery barbershop. Bergamot, orange, basil leaf, oak moss, patchouli, aromatic spices, a hint of honey, and a hint of tobacco. It's so good. It also comes in this six ounce tub. So I was talking about the body lotion. I've had this one two years. I bought it in the summer of 21. It's almost time for me to buy another one. I've actually been having it set upside down because it, it's kind of thick. One thing that's cool about this too um, is that it makes one hell of a post shave. One thing that I've never really been a fan of all of her bombs are lightly mentholated. Some guys like that, I'm not crazy about it, but her products are so good and they work so well that I've always, you know, just basically overlooked it and I've gotten used to it. So her bombs used to come in this guy here, which I'm still finishing off. This is the new bomb container. They're both a four ounce. But you get four ounces of this and it is just a, a light menthol where i'm taking this to is that she also has the splashes these came out like five years ago and they're in these like rubber coated plastic coated they're not unbreakable but they're very much hard to break they have a video where they're dropping them when they first came out um it's on like a facebook live and they're just dropping them again and again and kind of look and one thing that's cool too about like this this rubber coating is that it's kind of it's grippy it's not it doesn't have that glass texture i actually have this on the back of my right hand and then my number one on the back of my left hand absolutely easily one of my all-time favorite barbershop fragrances it's a banger all day long it's a banger and it's a classic barbershop in every sense of the word every sense of the word um I'm thinking about it too. If you guys want a sample of any of these soaps, let me know in the comments below and or maybe DM me and I'll happily send you a sample of her soap. I love Carrie's products. She makes a killer product. And if you look at like uh, some of her different things on her website too, I'm trying to think, I'll put a picture of it. It's, it's the bath thing. It has like peppermint in it. 
don't get old kids don't get old and remember electricity kills Did you see my shirt <laughs> number two honor number one hey fortitude Fortitude is nothing short of masculine. If you've ever tried a Garda from Phoenix Shaving, this is similar, not the same. They do remind me of one another, but they're not at all the same. Yeah. Warm hay, tobacco, and rum. That's it. <sighs> but the fragrance is so much more complex than just three notes. This is one of my wife's all-time favorite fragrances, which just makes it all the more enjoyable for me because I absolutely love this fragrance. My second bottle of Balm, and I'm about halfway through my bottle of Splash, which actually says quite a bit. Masculine, the hay is gives it a slight sweetness. I think maybe the rum is kicking in some sweetness too, but it is nothing short of just a sweet, lightly sweet, masculine fragrance. And I need to do a full review of that, Honor, and especially Justice. I was going to do Justice last year, then I just got busy. I want to thank you for joining me here today. It's the little big things. Some of the little big things are things like fortitude, honor, passion, endurance, I love how Carrie names her fragrances. I've seen some people, you know, tease and poke fun at it. And I think that just shows their immaturity. But uh, yeah, I said that out loud. I love, I like it. It's different. It's new. Nobody else is doing it. Um, and it sets her apart. And it reminds us of the little big things. Courage is one. Hope is another. Zeal. Um, I can go on and on. I have 16 different fragrances from her. Serenity, <laughs> what this world needs now. There's a giant dose of honor, justice, fortitude, and serenity. This is a good one. It's a crackling birch. Yeah, it's like birch on an open fire. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Y'all take care. Until next time.